Hi guys. I've been uh, over to the car right now. I'm arguing with my wife because I'm hitting jiggly stuff. Uh, we are in Phoenix, Arizona right now. We are lost at the airport. We are on our way to meet with our engineering team and see our, pro don't mind the GPS in the background. Uh, we're gonna go check out our prototype for our lash machine that we're making here in the US. And we're really excited to kind of show you guys some stuff. We don't wanna show too much, so I can't have anybody copying this. So in the car we have Angelina, she's our videographer, Gabs, our assistant, Kurt, the brains I'm just behind. Here for the ride. Kurt is yeah. here for the ride. Kurt's just here for the mushrooms. The, the <laughs> brains behind it. You can explain Kurt. Yeah, Kurt is actually a good friend of mine. Um, I've known him for years. He's also a professor at UNLV. He was the one that actually came up with the concept to uh, make this machine to do the lashes. We were originally trying to go overseas and basically buy a factory. And he told me that it really wasn't feasible. There's no way we can control that from across the Pacific. There has to be a way to actually make this. So he's the one that came up with the concept, met with about six different engineering firms and, and person, explained his, the idea for this thing, and just really kind of the brains behind it, found the people that actually make it, everything. And so super fortunate to have Kurt and his knowledge. Probably the most well-connected guy I know outside of Pablo Escobar. <laughs> Very, very excited to have him on board here with us. This is the actual... Don't waste it. Lashes. Well, I mean, they've got a bunch of stuff. Point one five. This is what it actually looks like. I need, a, I need like. a fill. Yeah, hold still. Somebody give me the tweezers. Yeah. This one already been... Oh, it feels right. No, this is how the filament actually comes right here. Yeah. And these mini, this is this is a full size. Yes. Wow. Yeah, depending on the size. So they just what, roll it out? It's it's a, it roll out or? The filament will fall, fall out. out. Okay. Yeah. So Get this it. one, like this point on three, if this paper and rubber band were to come off, this would go everywhere pretty much, right? Right. Yes. That's one of the bombs I was talking about. That, that's <laughs> one of the bombs. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that model alone has over a million filament in it. So there's a million individual. Yeah. Lashes and that little and that tiny little yeah. that's crazy. But uh, so this is what comes out and then they're cut into this size here. So what we're thinking is that um, you might get uh, let's say that you don't like the density in this area. Uh, we'd identify throughout the processing of the machine that you toss that away. Uh, so you'd save all the good bits and then throw away the bad stuff. It's pretty crazy. I mean, realistically though, that's, that's not really bad. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's compared really like on, on a Chinese standard. I'm just saying, like what's being handmade, like that's that's a salvageable good strip. We just got back from dinner. We got dessert to go. And Mike is trying to get me in the sack like he always does. But I want to put my big fuzzy mom pajamas on <laughs> and eat dessert in the bed and watch Housewives with no phone. But he's always trying to get me in the sack. It's so annoying. <laughs> but tomorrow we look at commercial spaces for um, 
for our first franchise in Scottsdale, so I'm so excited. And um, my husband is going pee, and he's being annoying. But, so we're really excited. We're gonna get up early, do that, and then drive home. And I miss our kids, and I always feel so guilty when I'm like out of breath from going up the stairs. I always feel so guilty, like, going out of town without my kids. It's like a mom guilt thing. I like, I feel like a bad mom, you know, if I'm not with them 24 seven. But then we're driving to Vegas, or back to Vegas tomorrow to be with them. So hopefully it's a short day. And um, what else do you want to add, babe? Yeah, <laughs> you may be getting laid by yourself tonight. <laughs> And today was a really good day with everybody. We had such a good day, such amazing things going on with Manny. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting laid. I'm getting laid, son. Hey, check out this tub. Look at this giant, look at this giant tub. Hold on, hold on. You're gonna break your pants. I'm going in, I'm going in. Look at the size of this fucking tub. Oh yeah. I plan, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I plan on getting, getting after it with the missus. <laughs> 